Alright, so I just stopped home to grab my rod and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing today. I'm um, doing what a lot of people are doing and I'm just uh, I'm going to be fishing where I fished my last video and I'm going to be taking a little bluegill and I'm going to be keeping him in this tank and we're going to see uh, how he survives through here. I haven't set, had my whole tank set up um, but we'll um, we'll get it set up here once I get the fish. Right, so there's my perch. Um, I wasn't able to give me catching him on camera. Um, it's really cold out and I need, I need my camera gear to freeze. But there's my perch and uh... He was smaller than the bluegill, so I ended up keeping him. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get him home and uh, see how he likes his, his new place. Alright, well I got everything set up here in uh, my new fish tank. And I, as you can see here, I have a little rock and some plant life. There's my fish right there. Don't know what I'm going to name him, but it's kind of hard to see because uh, it's covered by some plants. But there he is, little perch. And I just have a common little bubbler right there, just give him some extra oxygen. And then I have a little filter just to clear up the water. So I just got this guy in here, gonna let him relax for a little bit. And uh, tomorrow morning I'll see if uh, see if he's doing well. And uh, I'll go over everything that I used to set this up. Alright, well just to kind of summarize this video up, um, I have a 10 gallon tank here, I have a um, little Tetra filter, and I have a aquaculture air pump, and um, say uh, some fake plants and some natural colored gravel to make him feel right at home, and I kind of created my own little tunnel there, and um, there's going to be many updates on this guy as well as uh, what I'm feeding him, how I'm feeding him, and um, should be good for now. I mean, he's he's looking really happy, and he really likes that tunnel. He likes to go in there and hide. But yeah, there's going to be many updates on him, as well as feeding and showing what I'm doing to feed him and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, so I realized that my video was way short because I didn't end up filming me actually catching the fish. What I did was, I actually stocked my pond with three bass and a bluegill, and I'm going back to that same spot to catch more, put them in my pond for future videos. Now, the reason I put that perch into my tank was to create content, which is feeding, and when, I, when I'm not able to get out fishing, like on a rainy day or something, I'll be able to do that. So that was the main reason. Second reason is that it's cool. I just think it's kind of cool, you know, to watch him swim around and Maybe it'll lead out of my head someday. I don't know. But my video is really short, so I just wanted to add add that. And um, I'm really hoping to create some cool videos with hoping to put some bigger bass into my pond. And, um, yeah, really just uh, try out lures in there and hopefully get some really good content for you guys that are watching out there. And Yeah, so um, thank, finally, and for the last time, thank you so much for watching.